Hi, in this video I'll demonstrate how to begin taking measurements with the NIUSB Environmental Test Station utilizing LabVIEW's graphical programming environment. Specifically, I'll be taking temperature, strain, and audio level measurements. So I've got LabVIEW open here and I'll switch to the block diagram while I'll be doing the majority of my programming. So in order to be taking measurements, I will select the Data Acquisition Assistant. This is an Express VI that will enable me to easily configure my data acquisition task. So the first measurement I want to take is a temperature. The thermocouple is inserted into the 9213 on channel 0. So here's the DAC Assistant configuration window. You can see that I'll be taking measurements in degrees Celsius. I need to change my thermocouple type to match what I have, which is the type T. And I want to acquire my samples continuously. So now it's building my data acquisition assistant task. In a moment it'll ask me if I want to auto configure this to be in a while loop so that I can acquire continuously. Now because I set that in the configuration window, the DAC assistant configuration window, I'll just click yes. Now I need a way to display my temperature data. And I think the best way to do that is with a thermometer. I'll just make the indicator a little bit bigger so I can more easily read the temperature reading. Now I'll simply wire the data output from the DAC assistant to the temperature thermometer indicator. Now I'm all set to read temperature. But I'm also interested in reading strain with the 9237, so I'll configure that task right here as well. Again, I'll need to select the DAC assistant. This time I'll configure a little bit differently. I'm still acquiring signals, it's an analog input, but this time I'm selecting strain. So 9237 is in slot 2, and the sensor is connected to analog input channel 0. So in this window I can configure the strain gauge based on the sensor that I actually have. So I know it's in a half bridge 2 configuration. And I also want to change my acquisition to continuous once again. I'll receive the same message and just select yes. So now I'll switch back to the block diagram to create an indicator for strain. This I want to use a waveform chart. And switch back to the block diagram to make sure that the data from the task is routed to my indicator. So now I'm all set to read temperature and strain. So let's run this VI. And excite this drill. And so we can see that running the drill affects the temperature of the environment as recorded by the thermocouple and also changes the strain. Now I have more, one more measurement type that I'm interested in. And that's the audio level with the 9234. Now with the sound and vibration measurement suite capability of the NIUSB environmental test station, I'm able to access the signal processing and uh, audio processing capabilities of the sound and vibration measurement suite. And the best way to do that is with the extensive library um, that, that, that installs with the measurement suite. So I'm going to open up the sound level measurements pre-built VI So as you can see here, we have a sound level meter pre-built ready to go. So all I need to do is select the device that I want to measure, and that's the 9234, which is in the third slot. The third slot here. So I'll select that. It's on analog input channel 0. Let's go ahead and run this. You can see that we're easily recording the band power between 20 hertz and 16 kilohertz 
and also the exponential average of that power of that sound power and also the linear equivalent so let's run this drill and see what happens so as you would expect the power within this frequency increases dramatically as well as the amplitude of that audio level so that's it we've just we've just taken a look on how to record on how to measure temperature strain and audio levels using the NI USB environmental test station